Can we say amen? Amen, no? Ang pulianan, ginoo din hi, ang pulianan nga, hindi mong gamay langit din hi, kana nga pulianan, ang atong mga pulianan, magkinit anay sab sa langit nun nga pulianan. This evening, our first lecturer, ato ni Ila Ilahon, and ang iyahang topic, our first topic is the importance of family life. Ang atong first lecture, atong ilailahon, atong tanawon, kini nga video. Born in the picturesque town of Akmunan in Tupi, South Cotabato. She emerged as a testament of grace and achievement. Her educational journey led her to Montenegro College in Valencia City, Bukidnon, where she dedicated herself to the pursuit of knowledge, ultimately earning her Bachelor of Science in Business Administration with a major in Management. For six enriching years, she contributed her talents and skills as a receiving cashier of Zamboanga Peninsula Mission, leaving a significant mark on her professional path. In matters of heart, she found her joy in the partnership with Pastor Elmer Luna Dula, who currently serves as the Ministerial Secretary of ZPN. Together, their union has been blessed with the presence of two lovely young ladies and a handsome young boy, each carrying the legacy of good looks from the remarkable lineage. Her spiritual strength is anchored in a favorite biblical passage in Isaiah 41.10, which speaks of the promise. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with the righteous right hand. Presently, she fulfills the vital roles of women's ministry and family life director at Zamboanga Peninsula Mission, located in the vibrant community of Ipil Zamboanga, Sibuka. It is with great honor and anticipation that we present Mrs. Sharon Buhat Dula as our honored and distinguished lecturer of the hour. We are privileged. atong pagbiyahe ginamhinam namo ang pag-abot ninyo dinhi sa Sambuanga Peninsula Mission thank you kaayo sa inyong response nga nakaabot ta dinhi tungod kay uh, usa jud ka among damgo nga mahimuan ta og usa ka family life tungod kay 
usa ka importante ang atong mga tag sa tag sa ka mga panimalay. Dili lang sa atong iglesia, kung dili bisan sa atong community. Okay, while waiting sa atong project, mga kaigsuunan, uh, ang atong family life, ato kini nga buhat dun, nga mahimo malampuson ang atong women's ministry leadership certification uh, bago lang na human sa November, tung November and then ubay-ubay sa atong mga kababayinan ang atong na certified and then this year usa sa atong goal nga maato sad mahimo ang atong family life certification This family life certification, mga kaigsuunan, this is 50 hours. No? Dapat ang atong buhaton. Naan ni siya mga 16 modules ang atong itakel. That's why nagsayuta pagsugod tungod kay naakitay three speakers. Ang uban na nagi pang sum up na nato ng mga modules. Kung inyo na notice, mga kaigsuunan, may naatay... Uh, booklet enriching nga inyo na dawat tong 80 pesos ato to gituyo mga kaigsuonan because that is very important kaayo nga book that is a summary of the adventist home kung kinsa na nakabasa sa inyo og adventist home Maybe siguro ang uban pila lang ka chapter. But then dili nato matakol pila ka oras no tungod sa atong kabisi pero nahimo nato na siya nga assignment kana nga booklet nga na receive ninyo karon inyo na siya nga that is the adventist home sa marilang na siya tag isa ka page. So kung mag-lecture mo mga kaigsuonan sa ato mga churches, inyo na magpwede mo mag-refer sa ato nga adventist home but that is a summary na 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 plus time na na siya by week, no? My week one, week two, hang to December. So, dili na mo magsulti nga wala man mi lecture. O saan na na siya sa atong materials nga gamiton alang sa pag-lecture na to sa atong mga kaeglesyahan. Okay. And then, sa atong level two, ato na siya i... Mga yotag recommendation, no? Ay certification, I mean, sa ato mga churches kung nakalecture ba mo, na apply ba ninyo kanang atong Adventist home nga na receive niyo nga mga booklet. So, usa na siya sa atong mga assignment. Uh, and then may naapatay uban nga material soon amo pa gina uh, prepare. So, this evening mga kaigsuonan, I just want to Give the introduction along sa atong family life certification. Kaniyang family ministries leadership certification mga kaigsuonan gidala nato kini sa atong matag sa tag sa kamang churches aron ato kini mahimo mabati nato kung unsa ka importante ang atong mga tag sa tag sa kamang panimalay. Families provide fundamental support. Gisuti din ni system and serve as the building block of our society. Usa sa mga building blocks. Kung magsuti ka ito mga kaigsunan, building blocks, lisod na siya tarugon. Kung ato ka ni siya ma, pundar sa ato mga tagsa-tagsa ka mga panimalay. So, the... Okay. The importance of family life. Magpadayon lang ta. Bisan wala pa na project di ha. Okay. The importance of family life, mga kaigsuonan. When you talk about family, of course, naa ang husband and naa puts your wife. You husband, your greatest gift mao ang imo nga wife, and you wife, the greatest nga imo nga gift mao put ang imo nga husband. Would you mind, mga kaigsunan, sa inyong tapad, to tell no her or him nga you are the greatest gift to me, darling, and whatever inyong inyong sangon. So tii mga kaigsunan, ug kumot kumot tajud ang kamot. So tii nga you are the greatest gift to me. Okay. 
Thank you. And then, if God will give the couple the children, kung kamo mga panimalay, may naamoy mga anak, that will be the additional gift para sa atua. The first gift, ang imo asawa, you husband, your wife, ang imo nga greatest gift, ang imo nga husband. And kung may naatay mga anak, additional nga gift ka na alang sa ato. And if it is a gift, we should love and take care of them. Ato jud na panggaon sila. Ato jud na sila atimanon. Okay. It says here, the family was created by God as a center of discipleship. Okay? Nurture, guidance, love, affection, and many others, relational realities, and it comes continued to be a principal target of the evil one. Mga kaigsuunan, kanidyod ang ato nga mahimo alang sa atong mga panimalay to be a disciples pa pag nurture sa pagguide sa kanila paghigugma sa ila tungod kay ang atong nga kaaway mao ang gatuyok-tuyok kag nunay sa palibot ga target sa matag sa tagsa ka member sa atong mga panimalay no target of the evil one to this end, the Seventh-day Adventist Church needs a multiple of trained facilitators. That's why you are here to be trained, mga kaigsunan, who has helped bring healing to the brokenness in our midst. Our hope is that this resource will help us accomplish a very important part of this vision and mission sa ato nga iglesia. Dako kaayo ang ato nga, um, dako kaayo ito nga task mga kaigsunan, matagpanimalay, no? Nga pag ato na ito, babati jud na ito ang ato mga, each sa ato mga responsibility sa ato nga mga panimalay. Ang ato nga mang mission and vision. I-review na ito mga kaigsunan, ang atong family life, Maokini ang atong mission statement. Ato daw ni nga ikoros mga kaigsunan sa pagbasa. Ready, start. The department, start. Seek to strengthen, inspire, hope, and bring healing to the marriages, families, and individuals through the abundant love and saving grace of Christ. Wow, mga kaigsunan, it inspires sa paglaom, brings healing sa atong mga kaminyuon, sa atong mga panimalay. That's one of the mission sa atong family ministries. Ang atong vision, mao ang pag-prepare. Kita mga kaigsunan, let's read this one. Prepare families, kingdom, of God to help hasten the coming of Jesus Christ. Kinsa kaninyo mga kaigsuunan, gusto na dyan mabalik ang ginoo. Wow! Yes, that is our greatest hope na mapadali ang pagbalik ni Ginong Jesus. When we have strong marriages, it says here, we are more likely to have strong families. Diba? Notice yung mga kaigsuunan. Just observe, katong mga grabe, no? Strong ang ila family band, ilang relationships sa matagpanimalay, no? May naapod sila'y strong nga family. As strong families are still more likely to disciple their children in their way of the Lord, practice faithful stewardship, and have a strong witness to share with their relatives, neighbors, and friends. Mga kaigsunan, kaning atong panimalay, dili lang kay nagtagad ta sa atong asawa, nagtagad kita sa atong bana, atong mga anak. But then, mahimo kun unta ta nga strong nga witness alang sa pag-share sa atong mga relatives, sa atong mga neighbors, and sa atong mga friends. Kamusta man ka yung mga kaigsuunan atong mga panimalay nga ginapresentahan? Nahimo ba kaning 
witness, no? Nahimo bang kahayag kini sa atong mga tagsa-tagsa ka mga silingan sa atong community? Dili ka makdungga nila ang mga mga kaisugon sa atong mga panimalay, no? Mga kaigsunan. So we must be a strong witness to share God's word and to represent Jesus Christ. Another one, mga kaigsuunan, in Adventist home, page 32, it says, One well-ordered, well-disciplined families tells more in behalf of Christianity than all the sermon that can be preached. Yes, mga kaigsuunan, Though dili pata magtindog diri si gigwali si gig sulti sa gugma ni Ginoesos but kung nakita ang atong mga kinaiya sa atong mga silingan sobra pa kita sa nagwali diri mga kaigsuonan nga nagpreach din hi sa tubangan so it tells more about sa atong nga kin sa kinabuhi ni Ginong Hesus Gikwa ko ni mga statistic mga kaigsuonan, no? Here population statistic here lang sa EPL. Diri sa place sa EPL, may population siya 90,000 plus. Daghan mga kaigsuonan only in EPL. Number of household is 5,063. Kaning gamay lang ang data mga kaigsuonan, no? din hi sa ipil ang atong population sa SDA member members mao ang 1000 plus based sa na nakuha na ko sa office no and number of churches 15 the less bitang bisan butang ana lang nimo uh, uh, number of families each church bisan tag 10 na lang just the less na lang just 100 families no 150 families matag Iglesia, 150 families. So, mga kaigsunan, kung ato tanawon, unsa kadaghan, 90,000. How and then number of houses, 5,000. Paano nato ma-reach out ang ato ng mga kaigsunan, no? Unsa on nato sa pag-reach out? Siguro pwede po mo mag-visualize sa inyong mga community, sa inyong member dito sa inyong uh, as district or sa inyong municipality. Grabe ang ratio mga kaigsuunan. Kung nahimo na kung ato batiun mga kaigsuunan, unsa on nato pag reach out? Pakadaghan, sometimes pag think ta, uy mag-adto ta dito sa hulo, sa sulo, maadto ta dito sa uban nga mga community. But then wala nato natutukan nga ang ato nga palibot mas daghan pag idiay ang wala nato na reach out nga mga family mga kaigsuunan. So, it says here, remember, influence is the highest form of ministry. Ang imong influensya, ang imong kahayag mga kaigsuunan, mas dako na siya. It's the highest form sa atong ministry nga mahimo and the strongest form of evangelism. No? Our family should be an influential Influencer. Amen, mga kaigsuunan. Yes! Amen. No, bisan sa unsang atong buhaton, bisan naapata sa terminal, may naata sa atong balay, magdunggan unta ang atong ananoy kaayo ng mga pag-worship pag mga tagbuntag, pag-worship sa gabi, nga mabati nila nga, Grabe, pariho lang may trabaho, pariho raman may nga murag gakayod, pero nga naman po na nga sila, nga dili man mabati nila murag wala may problema tungod kay unsa man mga kaigsuonan na aman si Kristo naghimo man ta nga mahimo kita nga dako kayo nga influence sa ila nga kahayag alang sa atong mga kaigsuonan voca world what is the voca world may na may na ay abbreviation ani mga kaigsuonan the vocal world, alang sa ato karon, mauni siya ang V, the volatility. So, kung magsultita sa V, volatility, mauna siya ang always rapid change. Maunang ato, dili tak exempt di mga kaigsunan kung naata sa kalibutan. Naagyod tayo kanunay nga, sige lang change, sige lang 
paspas kaayo karon lahi presyo ug ba lahi, uh, lahi na pud ang presyo karon lo lahi ang weather ngano karon lahi na pud ang mga weather so from time to time ang mauna siya ang ma-encounter sa ato mga kaigsuunan sa ato mga batanon next the uns- uncertainty no no one no more is certain or fix wala na gyud fix din hi sa kalibutan sa kanunay walay walay Wala constant mga kaigsuuna, no? Sige lang jud so usob-usob. And then may encounter po kaning natawag na complexity, no? Very complicated ang panahon nato. Ang ato mga batan-on malibog na. Sa una mang okay ra man jud kaayo mamunal, sa karon dili na, grabe complicated. Sa una mauni ang balaod, karon okay naman luag-luag na po. Sa una ang atong CR okay ra jud, bayi laki ra. Karun complicated na. So, pas-pas mga kaigsuunan. Ambiguity, no? May naay mga kalibog. May mga doubt, may encounter. So, each one of us, each of our family, mga, kaig- mga kaigsuunan, maukini ang ila maatubang. Maukini ang ato maatubang. Matag karun og unya. The vocal world, mga kaigsuunan. And we are not exempt of this. kinahanglan ato grounded kanunay strong yun kaayo ang ato nga family that's why ato ni ginadala karon nga nga ato nga program so it says here one of satan's target today is our home mga kaigsuunan there are two institutions god created this sabbath and the marriage, mga kaigsuunan. So, kaning kami yun, kaning atong mga pamilya, kung may, may nag-target nga mausub ang atong adlong igpapahulay, maupod ka strong si Satan sa pagguba sa atong matag usa-usa ka, panimalay. One of Satan's target, mao ang ato nga, panimalay. He knows that if we maroin mang ato nga panimalay, no nga mao ang basic no sa atong unit sa atong society dili kita mahimong successful sa atong pag sa atong iglesia mahimo pod nga complicated pod kaayo pag adto ta didto sa atong iglesia instead baka inspire ta sa atong mga kaigsuunan pag sulod ta pa lang gamugot na ta dili na ta matigaan og bahin kay daghan kay problema so kinahanglan jud nga ato jud gaksun let's embrace ang ato mga panimalay aron dili jud ma kuha ni satan we need to build a good family for us to be able to conquer this vocal world mga kaigsuonan i hope inyo ni ma, ma- remind always ni nga gaatubang jud ko always sa vocal world no nga dili ta ma-exempt kaning mga mga kaning nga mga circumstances sa ato nga kinabuhi the there always rapid nga and change nga ato nga kalibutan and then kaning walay certain no walay fix kaning complicated and doubt sa ato nga kalibutan we can make our own vocal world mga kaigsuunan sa unsa nga pamaagi Mao ang the vitality, uncertainty, the complexity sa palibot, the ambiguity, mga kaigsuunan, ang doubt, ang vitality nato, mahimo kini nato nga vision para sa atong panimalay. The uncertainty sa atong palibot, mahimo nato ni understanding. No? Pag sinabdanay. The complexity, mahimo nato ni nga clarity no and then the ambiguity mahimo ni natong alertness mga kaigsuonan the only solution to have a good family mao kini mga kaigsuonan may god bless us mga kaigsuonan that this short nga atong pagpadasig alang kaninyo sa atong entro sa atong family life, maka-inspire sa ato nga 
dili kita makasulti nga we are here but we ka, we came tungod kay God has a purpose to each of our family to each of our marriage mga kaigsuonan nga mahimo untag isa kadako nga favor alang sa ato sa pag-inspire also sa others na not only sa atong panimalay sa church and also sa atong community thank you and good evening Thank you so much, Ma'am Sharon Dulang, our very own Women's and Family Life Directress of Zamboanga Peninsula Mission for emphasizing the importance of family life. At this time, before nato ipailaila ay kaduhan nato nga magsusulti, ato paminawon ang awit nga giandam sa IMAC Church. Ang mga couples gikan sa IMAC at ng paminawon ng ilang awit.
she is a dedicated healthcare professional. She is a dedicated healthcare professional with extensive. She is a dedicated healthcare professional with extensive experience in both public health and education. Her background includes a Bachelor of Science in Nursing from Suleiman University and an MPH from IS, along with eight years of government service as a public health nurse and DOH program coordinator. In 1993, she answered the call of her denomination embarking on a 31-year journey in health, women's and family ministries. Her legacy includes serving as Director of Health, Women's, SI, Children's and Family Ministries at various institutions, including Western Mindanao Conference, Northern Mindanao Mission, and Zamboanga Peninsula Mission. She retired in 2019 living an indelible mark. Her family shares her commitment to healthcare and education with her husband, Pastor Antonio Velasco Comun, and her children, Don Landuz and Don Bok, pursuing careers in healthcare and dentistry. With two grandchildren, Puton and Tay, the Pamunag family's impact spans generations. We are honored to have Mrs. Marina Estimo Pamuna as our speaker, and we eagerly anticipate the insights that she will share. Good evening and happy Sabbath, Satanan! Are you happy nga nakaanhit kita karon to attend this talag sa on region ni mga kaigalaan, mga kaigsuonan nga nakahimo ta ni nga programa? Actually, this uh, family certification levels, uh, level 1, during the time nga uh, I was still active in the ministry as Family Life Ministries Director, naabot me og level 9. And kaning family certification, may ngundagin mo nga, one day ta, kanang, sige na taglingkod. Sige na taglingkod kay lecture man yun ni mga kaigsunan. Ang set sa lectures, pag humanan ng level 1, apot ay level 2, level 3, or asa ka ni Kotob. So, in, during our time, after sa amo ang kada level, like for example, sa le lecture ni Ma'am Sharon, mag-take note yun mi kay i-examine mi pagkahuman. Pero karon di ta mag-exam kay Sabado, mga Kopols ni ining kagabi on. Good evening and happy Sabbath, Satanan. Naman tay enough time. I want you, I thought I will be the last speaker. Kay nagtuo ko, uh, last na ko. So basin og, nakuha na inyong utok. Let's keep your brain working so that ang akong eh, sulti karon ma murag ma, ma atog yung ma, ma sulod sa atong ulo. Okay, let's start. On sana siya? Sa makatubag lang. Umutubag, mutindog. What is that? Para ma, ang inyong brain makutaw ba? A sample, unsa na siya? Seven C's. Oh, seven C's. Murang mga inana lang ba? Parang makuha dyan ang otok na to. Parang ineglecture na ako. Murang lisod ba ni? Biblical and theological foundation of family. So ako ningi ko anana ni ho. Kani? One. Okay. Forgive and forget. Okay. Can I? Alphabet. No. Can say maka tindog deha. Alphabet. Letters. Missing you. Wala ba ito you, ha? Oh, wala you. Missing you. Oh, especially kamo mga couples. Nag-miss mo si Dea. 
ओके कने डाउन डाउन सर ang taon na down downtown oh di na rata kutob ang at least ang inyong brain nagstart na og lihok okay ready we will start this is our family certification level 1 unsa atong theme i will go with my family okay and we are so happy with our uh, director sa Uh, kanang family life sa Sambuanga Peninsula Mission nga nahimo ning atong programa I'm very happy nga na invite ko supposed to be dili ta ko makaanhi but I tried my best kay nakakumit you go ni Ma'am Sharon okay ang atong topic number one uh, module number one ganina it's an introduction to the family life ministries nga certification the biblical pastor gud unta ni no and theological foundation of adventist families unsa ang ano biblical and theological foundation of adventist families naging on the christian family is to be a training school amen amen hinay man from which children are to graduate to a higher school in the mansions of God. Amen? Wow, mga kaigsunan. Adventist Home, page 543, paragraph 3. Our family, our Adventist family should be a training school. Aron ang ato mga kabataan mo graduate to a higher school in the mansions of God. Yes, na inag-ingon diri, in 3 Gen 4, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in the truth. Mga kaigsunan, maugin na itong kalipay sa mga ginikanan. That's why this family life ministries nga gina pasantop good sa itong mga pangulo gikan sa uh, general conference because if a family is weak, our church also will be weak. Weak family will produce weak church. Mga kaigsunan, So, ang atong handom, ang atong panimalay, mahimo yun ka nga. Ang atong mga kabataan, magalakaw diha sa kamatuuran. Mga kaigsunan. What is a family? What is a family? Sa elementary pa tao, unsa man to? It's the father's kingdom, unsa ba to? Then mansion and children's paradise. Ma'am, mga, mga good morning, ma'am diha. What is a family? Sa elementary pa ta? It's the Father's kingdom, the mother's world, and the children's paradise. Mau gina, elementary pata. But what is a family? When we hear the word family, many of us still think about the stereotypical family with father, mother, two or three children, and pets. Napa yung mga iring, mga iro. Indeed, this description is family. Family gihapo na siya. But family today. Is much more than this idealistic notion. More than that, pa. Since only a small percentage of families today fit into this category, katong ako ng ingon ganina. Why? Nagingon dery the Bible and the social science offer a much broader perspective on the family. Mao na siya. Like for example, living with a single parent. Wala y mama wala y papa. Then ay anak, nag-live siya. That's a family. Di tamingon nga katulad yun, kumplito yun to, amahan, inahan, anak. No, it is still a family. A single parent with children. A retired couple. Pareha na nila ni Pastor and Mrs. Kanang Serrano. Family dyan na sila gihapon. Yan, nice ka ayaw ni sa akagyo ko sa ilang tulugan. Kita mo anang van diha sa kilid. Ilan ang tulugan ko, ma'am? Ma'am, yes, pasakyag. Pasak ako, ma'am. Nisaka ko dito. Then, sunod, mangihi ko dito, ma'am, sa taas. Na CR, na bedroom, na kitchen, na din ha, ma'am. They are a family. Ang ilang balay, gidaladala, mga kagsunan. A single parent, a retired couple, a blended family, nga para Pilipino, dinibalay, sibay na po dere, sibay na po dito, kay family man. Ang mga anak, di man pa, pahimog balay sa layo. Single adults, sharing an apartment, it's a family. 
a childless couple. All this and many more represent families in our world today. All these families need the support and intentional ministry. That's why the Seventh-day Adventist Church Family Ministries Department of the General Conference ginaawhag yun, nga ipalambo yun ang family ministries. Need support of the church on our behalf. Therefore, a ministry to family needs to be broad, broad, and comprehensive in order to do an adequate job on this area. So this is the family, single adults. When we are making a building, engineer, gusto ta maghimog balay. Nagyod tay contractor, no? Dali ra kayo ang natay contractor, like for this one. Na ay unsaon nila ang foundation, nagyod say good nga contractor. Nagingon diri si Solomon. Remember Solomon? King Solomon would also understand that it is important that you have a good general contractor. Hiram, kung inyo nang basahon sa 1 Kings 5.18, na siya di ay contractor. Paghimo siya sa unsa, sa temple sa Jerusalem. Ang iyahang contractor is Hiram. Hiram was the general contractor for the temple in the Old Testament. He was a very capable contractor. If you are going to build a family, kita diri karon, it is important to have a good general contractor. Except the Lord building the house, you can't build a marriage and you can't build a family unless Jesus Christ is the general contractor. Amen. He should be our general contractor, mga kaisulan. Solomon's builders and Hiram's builders and the Gibalites did fashion them and prepare the timber and the stones to build the temple of Jerusalem. Family ministries. When we say family life ministries, Dona Nishai upholds the biblical teaching related to family upholds the biblical teaching. That's why my topic is about biblical the and theological foundations of the family. Upholds the biblical teaching related to the family and lifts us of God's ideal. Gigan ni Ma'am Sharon, this is the institution. Only two institutions were instituted by God in the creation week. That was Sabbath and the family. Mga kagisunan. Nga i-lift up God's ideal for family living. At the same time, it brings healing and reconciliation. Healing sa family. Yes, mga kaisan, in a family, we have hurts. Doon na tayo resentments. Doon ay kaiubos. Doon ay forgiveness. Doon ay kalagot. There is abuse. But sometimes we feel nga kanang wala na giyot but remember this is our family no matter what amen bisan pag unsay metabo this is a family and walay makabungkag ani mga kaigsuonan it brings healing and reconciliation understanding of the brokenness experienced by individuals and families in this fallen world because we are still living in this world mga kaigsuonan you know It fosters reconciliation between the generations promised in the Elijah message in Malachi chapter 4, verses 5 and 6. That is the Elijah's message. Ato na rong matunan. And it extends hope and support to those who have been hurt by abuse, family dysfunction, And broken relationship. There are still, we are not exempted. Family, Adventist family are not exempted. I read a book entitled, The Sins of My Father. Basa na ko, it is produced, it is produced by the Review and Herald, pamplit lang. It was a lady who was being raped by his By her own father, a church elder at that. 
Ako ang gibasa, ingon siya. You know, abuse is even creeping inside our Adventist families. But this family ministries extends hope and support for these people. To those who have been hurt by abuse, family dysfunction, and broken relationship. This is Family Life Ministries. Now, ang Elijah, Elijah's message is in Malachi chapter 4 to 6. He will turn the hearts of their parents to their children and the hearts of the children to their parents. Mga kaigsoonan. That's the Elijah's message. Ma-mention na nako niya sa unahan, dapit. What is our textbook? This biblical foundation. Biblical and theological foundation of the family. One, the Bible as textbook on family relationship. This should be our textbook. Nasa kung bag ang Bible. There are four views of human relationships in relation to marriage and family. Number one is relational directives. Doon ay mga ato ning hisgutan. Next, relational laws and probabilities. Then we have narratives and the Song of Solomon. Naatanan sa Bible ni mga kaigsoon about family. First, we will tackle on the relational directives. These relational directives are commands intended for basic framework for living in relationship with fellow human beings. Naana sa Bible tanan. It is written in the Bible. Scripture presents its view of human relationships in a variety of ways. The first example of Scripture teaching on family can be found in what are called relational directives. In our family, it Bible is our textbook. What is relational directives? Number one, we have what we call generic on what to ta sa pharmacy nga? On sa'yo mong paliton, dai. Ma'am, on sa'yo mong paliton, generic branded. What is generic? Generic, ah, naman si doktora, sweet, oh. Ang generic, kana siya nga, oh, kanang kan, kanang paracetamol, antay. Ang generic, ah, nadaghang klase man na siya mga kids. Generic, apply to all relationship. So, in everything, so, in everything, do to others what you would have them to you for the sums of the law and the promise. That's a relational directive. Pwede na siya ma-apply. So, generic, asa na nga area imo nang ma-apply. Love your neighbor as love yourself. That's generic, Matthew 7, 12. And love your neighbor, uh, Matthew 20 to 39. And live peace with everyone. That is Romans 12, 18. Those are generic. Apply to all relationship. So, pwede ra. Dili siya branded. Anita sa branded. So, not. Next sa generic, we have the specific in the relational directives. The specific in particular relationship sa married couple, sa parents, sa children, sa neighbors, and friends. So, specific. And three of the Ten Commandments are specifically intended to protect, preserve, and enhance life in the family. Unsa man, ang honor your father and mother. This is about family. So not, you shall not commit adultery. It's about family. And you shall not covet your neighbor's wife. It's in the family. So that's specific mga kaisunan, relational uh, directives. Then we have the specific for marriage. Unsa yung on biblical mga gisulte dere for marriage. Wives submit to your own husband as you do to the Lord. Husbands love your wives just as Christ loved the church. Grabe yun kayo balik balik ni master na takayan ni in marriage. So as church and gave up for her says Ephesians. Example sa mar. Then we have marriage. Another specific, Maris Guanya, parents, on saman sa parents, fathers, do not exasperate your children. Ayaw pa suka ang inyong anak. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. Specific, ha, for parents. So, generic is specific, relational directive na siya. 
Then for specific, children, listen my son to a father's instruction. Pay attention and gain understanding. That's it in Proverbs 4.1. That's specific. Yapon. Children, obey your parents in everything for this pleases the Lord. So this is specific for the children. Now, first is relational directives. Anita si kadwa, relational laws and probabilities. From the book of Proverbs, kato dito sa New Testament to mga kuan nakita. These are universal psychological principle. Psychological, there is something that we can, kuan yod, gikan na niya. Now, there is a Proverbs 12, 22. An anxious heart weighs down a man down, but a kind word cheers him up. Relational laws and probabilities. A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Proverbs, ingon dere. My son, ingon dere. Ang kagool, nga naasa kasing-kasing sa tao, mao'y makapatikoko ka niya, apan ang maayo, na pulong makay mo niya nga, nga unsa nga malipayon these are re- probabilities mga kaigsoonan mga couples so dire insights were given which govern kato relational uh, probabilities nay insights nga gihatag para maggovern sa atong emotional and social response sa gisulti diha sa bible about ani like for example gossip separates close friends. Can you train up a child in the way he should go? And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Are these promises? Promise ba ni? Gossip separates close friend. Promise dili. Di ni siya promise. No, there are probabilities. It is as if we are being told. Ginaistoryahan ta. Makining gossip, makasiparate ni og mga friend. So, being told that this is what is likely to occur when such and such happen. So, mo nang gitan, gitawag ni siya o uh, relational probabilities. Na as Bible tanan, na aragyod sa Bible tanan. So, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he's old, he will not depart. Na ay mga probabilities. So, hindi mo ni masundon, narana ni mo. These are not common. It is a uh, probab- probabilities nga imong sundon. Ingo imo nang sundon na may tabo nga maayo para sa imo. The next uh, four nga gisgutan is the narratives, stories. Kaning narratives and stories, it will instruct, inspire, rebuke, to correct, to train us in right living. So stories, pagtudlo, pagpadasig o pagbadlong. Naa na sa Bible sa Timothy 3:16. So, mo na siya stories na atanan ang biblical and theological foundation sa family ministries. So, dili gud eh nga ah, kwa naman na unsa man na unsa unsa ka director ka unsa imong leader ka sa family ministry. Ah, leader ako sa family ministry. Ayo ni og hamay-hamay ha ni nga dako nga katungdanan. Kani dako kay mo responsibilidad mga ka, mga couples aning pagkahimo ninyo nga mga family ministries director. Ang ikaupat is the Song of Solomon. What is in the Song of Solomon? Tomorrow, madiscuss yun ni kayo ni Pastor Serrano mga kyan. The one whole book of the Song of Solomon is devoted to unfolding the mysteries of human bonding. Human intimacy between husband and wife and the delights of conjugal love in marriage. We discover that the God who created human sexuality in the beginning and declared it to be good. Naarana, may sgutan gana ni Pastor Serrano. That is the Song of Solomon. It's the fourth mga kaigsoonan. The Song of Solomon portrays male, female differences in emotional and sexual responses. Manggawas na ugma yun. Basig na may mga question questions. An answer sa hapon din ha na, na mga emotional and sexual response of a husband o sa wife mga kaigsoonan. So, number two, developing a biblical theology of, of the family. Christ's ministry is our pattern. When we say theological, it is the study of God and God's relation to the people, to human being mga kaigsoonan. 
God's creation intent for family living and He made it perfect, mga kaigsonan. His plan for the family is perfect. Christ constantly elevated the divine ideals. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. So, ang ministry, ang ministry na to ni Ginong Isos mo ay atong pattern ingon nga mga pangulo kita sa family ministries. The family is the human expression of the relational nature of God. What does it mean? Scripture ever holds in reaching down to human frailty and brokenness on the other. We must minister to families with a goal that is shaped by the continual searching for and unfolding of the divine ideals. So relational nature of God, iyang gikumparar sa nature sa ginoo ang atong relasyon sa mga couple, mga kaisan. God is a relational being who has made human beings for relationship. Maugin ni siya. God often reveals Himself to us in family terms. From Him, we learn of marriage and the parent-child relationship. So, relational being. During the time nga naami ani, nag-seminar mi ni Ma'am Esther ani sa family ministries, ni Ma'am Andres, na remember mi nga naghawid-hawid na ito ma'am o ka ng string, din po nito na mo ang string, naglibot mi ana, gip punit ang string, hangtod nga nag-intertwine ang among string. So that string represents an. There is relationship. May ngon tag, father and mother. The ministry of an. A-N-D. Father and mother. Parent and children. Neighbor and neighbor. So this is the ministry of an. So is we are uh, we have made human beings for relationship next the family was instituted by the creator as his primary setting for human development and nurturance ag himo gidani nga family para nga diri family is the primary place where the capacity for love and intimacy with god and other human being is developed and where spiritual values are transmitted across generation and it is essential to the disciple making process it has been related to the disciple making process ang remember nato total member involvement discipleship moonisya nga ato ning man nurture ang atong family ang ilang development hangtod nga magamit ni sila og mahimo ni family nga atong ginurture maghimo na po sa glain nga family mag chain chain reaction and many people will know Christ as their personal savior amen mga couples amen the image of god is expressed in human beings as male and female mao nang gingon ni ma'am Sharon karon wa naman ang CR pwede nan sudlan atong kuan mga transgender on sa bana the creator's act of bringing the two together as equals, male and female, in a monogamous heterosexual union, establish the pattern for marriage. This union, male and female only, provides for companionship, fulfillment, and the perpetuation of the human family. But this has been distorted, di ba? Because of sin. Pagkahulog sa atong unang mga ginikanan sa sala, this has been distorted. Christ makes a difference in the merits of Adventist Christians. God wants to restore the Edenic ideal. Kadong sa Eden, mga kaigsoonan. Only male and female, mga kaigsoonan. Next, the covenant of marriage rests on the principles of love, loyalty, exclusivity, trust, and support upheld by both parents. Love, loyalty, exclusivity. Ato ara gani. Bisan pag mag-unsa-unsa ning kalibutan, mabali batumba-tumba ang kalibutan, intak gyud ta. Ato gani at naara ni sa atong family. Inclusivity, trust and support no matter what. In spite of prison sentences, in spite of negative test results. Like for example, check up ko dito sa doktor, check up ta sa doktor. 
executive check up agoy naamantay mga problema ay kaon na lang ka kay naakay ko an ana-ana na lang uy in spite our family we are still together to support its other no matter what trust and upheld by both partners when these principles are violated through abuse and abandonment and other wala na sa adventist family and other instances of unfaithfulness to the marriage vow the essence of marriage covenant is endangered mga couples while marriage number seven is a part of god's original plan singleness is within the divine design as well you know it may be the best interest of certain individual Christians to live singly. Basi in parayan ni Apostle Paul. Single as siya. 1 Corinthians 7.7. Ningo diri, I wish that all were as I myself am. Ningo si Apostle Paul. But each has his own gift from God. One on one kind and one of another. So dili na to. Single man na siya. Wa man na siya na minyo. Mangkay man na siya. Wa man na siya. Ayaw na siya mga kanyan. It is a part of God's original plan. Maupo na ang gihatag sa iya. Ang ginawa na kay Balungan ay daghan niyang mga buhat. Paalang sa pagpalambo sa buhat. Para madali ang pagbalik sa ginoo. Kung single siya. Within the divine design as well. So maugiha po na siya. Bearing children is an option. Ayaw na yung... Ala, wa man ko nang anak. Uy, mura ma problema na gyud ta. Option ra na siya through which couples who are able and choose to do so participate in the blessing God intended children to be. While marriages generally yield offsprings, procreation is not viewed as an obligation. Dili na obligation nga pagminyo ninyo mga anak jud mo. It is not viewed as an obligation incumbent upon its every couple in order to please God. God values children. Put. Kon mahimo, God values children. But ug wala gyud tay children, daghang mga pamaagi nga maati tay mahimong mga kabataan. Daghan pa niyo na tong mahimong kabataan nga atong ma-train, atong ma-disciple, mahimong magamit sa buluhaton sa Ginoo. Next Pitna. Broken relationship with God and with fellow humans were the tragic outcome of the fall. Tungod sa pagkahulog sa sala, Jesus' mission restored agape love relationship. John, in first John, his church is an extension of his work in maintaining strong relationship and restoring those who have been damaged. As part of its mission, the church seeks to be an Long to this church, Amen. The Seventh Day Adventist Church, because we are always reminded about family life. Bisag unsa nga klase mga couples nga atong nurture ang atong family. So there will result. So family life ministries, Jesus reaffirm. Mo nang tomorrow na atay reaffirmation of the vow, the family as an institution. In other words, Jesus affirmed marriage. Jesus affirmed children. Ngano? Giyon sa mantonia. Gani sa panahon nga naasi ginong isos sa kalibutan yung gignan nga ayaw na sila, panhiya na sila. Diri sa akong atobangan. You know, children have a special place in heaven. When Jesus will be all in heaven, ang mga bata na agyon na siya sa front seat mga kaisan because. Na sa Bible nga they will always behold the face of Jesus in heaven. Sa to pa Francis ang mga bata sa langit mga couples. So ingon dere, he bade them to come to him, elevated their faith as the standard for entrance into his kingdom. Number four, he Jesus affirmed family life and family responsibilities. He affirmed the responsibility of adult children toward their parents. mga Couples, mao na siya ang family life ministries. Family life ministries end time message. Mahinom duma na to the Elijah's message. Unsa niyang Elijah's message? Elijah was a prophet of Israel during the time of crisis, di ba? He was the only one who stand firm against the prophets of Baal. You know, sometimes as a family. 
We worship a lot of gods in our lives today. Tinood. We have a lot of gods. Dili man yung mga idol atong gawin. A lot of gods. Worldly things. Nga murag mo atong himuon. Directly affecting our family. The family which is the core of God's creation. The one whom we intend to care for. Behold, Ningodiri, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And then sa Malachi 4, 5, 6, And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to their children, and the heart of their children to their parents, and lest, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. So pahimnumduman di ay ning mga kabataan. When I was gamay pa ko mga kinan, I could not forget sa kinsay na kaila ni Mrs. Liaguno. Gamay pa ko din na sa Liloy, member ko, gamay pa ko, nag-visit si Mrs. Liaguno ang child evangelism director sa union sa una. Di dyan ako malimtan, ingon siya, before ko na magbalik sa ginoo, sa iya ratong kuan, iya hatong illustration. Pagbalik daw sa ginoo, may ngon ako ng angel, Jesus, pag-ilis na. Sa imong kingly robe, you have to go down, you have to go na to earth para paghukom na, pagluwa, paghukom sa mga tao. May ngon yun daw ko no, si Jesus, no. I have to visit the children of those parents so continually pray for their children who are wayward, mga kaigsunan. Mga ginikanan, natay mga kabataan o sahay. Nga wala kaayo sa food sa atong pagtuo. Hinumduman, dilita mo, give up sa pag-ampo sa atong mga kabataan. Kay before mo balik ang ginoo, bisitaon day na nga ramo, turn their hearts to their parents, kining mga kabataan, mga kaigsunan. Yes, before the second coming of Christ, a message will be sent to His people, a reviving and reconciling message that will draw families together across generation. Amen, mga couples. Across generation. Yes, when we see Jesus face to face, He will not ask us how many millions you earn. How many any treasures here on earth? Pila ka bok imong sakyanan? Pila ka iktarya ang imohang farm? And he will ask you, asa ang imong panon? That's a solemn question, mga ginikanan, mga parents, family ministries, nining kagabhion. Yes, as workers of God, our work is to begin with those nearest sa atua. Katong duol sa ato, it is to begin in our home. There is no more important missionary field than this. Child Guidance, page 476. Yes, it is no small matter or a family to stand as representative of Jesus, keeping God's law in an unbelieving community. We are required to be the living epistles. Known and read of all men. This position involves fearful responsibilities. On something fearful, ngil ngig ng responsibilidad. Usak ka responsibilidad ng angay nato hinoktokan. Because we are a living epistles, mga couples na ining kagabi on yes. Nag-ingon diri, you are writing a gospel. According to a writer, Paul Gilbert, a chapter its day, by deeds that you do, by words that you say, men read what you write, whether faithless or true, say what the gospel according to you, or according to me, or according to us. Yes, the promise of success. Unsay promise of success? We will atong basaho ni mga kisuna na sa hall. Ready? Start. Yes, I can do all things so Christ will strengthen me. Together, atong panon. Start. Together, we will say, May our family be blessed this evening. It's my prayer for all of us this evening.
Praise the Lord! Uh, Ma'am Myrna Pamunag for sharing with us the uh, biblical foundation, no? Module 1 sa itong Family Life Ministries. And so the Family Life Ministries Department prepared, uh, Ma'am Myrns, dali sa tas natubangan? Prepared a plaque and a simple token, no? I am requesting all the officers no, of um, the Z, uh, ZPM Family Life Ministries Feder Federation to please come up on stage together with Ma'am Sharon Dulang. Alang sa pag hatag aning token and kidney. And let me read to you this um, plaque of appreciation, the citation of this plaque. Family Life Ministries Department, Zamboanga Peninsula Mission of the Seventh day Adventist Church. Block of Appreciation presents this to Myrna E. Pamuna for sharing her valuable time and effort as a resource speaker during the Family Life Leadership Certification Level 1. With a the theme, I will go with my family on April 12 and 13, 2024. Given this 12th day of April 2024 at Zamboanga Peninsula Mission Adventist Convention Center, Porok Orchids, the Ion Ipil Zamboanga, Sibugay, Philippines. Signed by our Family Life and Women's Director, Ma'am Sharon B. Dulang, our ZPM Executive Secretary, Pastor Vilmer Mandalupa, our ZPM Treasurer, Pastor Ronald Hazel B. Ramos, and our very own President, Pastor Arnold Coligado Sumbilon. Requesting all the officers and your um, token and gifts that you prepare for our speaker. Please come forward. Kuhita imong tapat og ingna ang imong pulianan magsilingan ta sa langit. Sige. Kuhita ingna ang imong isig ka tapat din ha. Ang imong pulianan magsilingan ta sa langit. Amen. Amen, no? Kanang imong tapat diha maunay silingan nimo sa langit. Makaigsunan. Magkita ta sa langit. This um, time Mona ang ikatulo na ito nga magsusulti. She will be sharing about Family Center of Evangelism. Atong ilailahon mga kaigsunan, ang ato ang katapusang magsusulti ni Ininga Kagabion, pinaagi ni Ininga Video. Hailing from Northeastern Mindanao Academy. Hailing from Northeastern Mindanao Academy. She received a valedictorian honor in both her elementary and secondary education showcasing her early commitment to excellence. Continuing her pursuit of knowledge, she graduated cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Biology from Mountain View College. Her academic journey reached new heights as she earned a Master of Science in Biology at Central Mindanao University and subsequently a PhD in Biology at Mindanao State University Ligan Institute of Technology. Her dedication and scholarly prowess were acknowledged with commission in higher education in the Philippines. As a dedicated researcher, she has left mark in prestigious journals and has been recognized with Best Paper and Best Presenter Awards 
at both national and international conferences. Her commitment to advancing knowledge led her to be a recipient of the Sandwich Program Grant, during which she studied at the Revolutionary Laboratory of the National University of Singapore. Not only an accomplished academic, she also devotes her expertise to education as a faculty and researcher at Western Mindanao State University. Additionally, she spearheads the Pure and Analytical Research Center of Western Mindanao State University Science Hub, further exemplifying her commitment to scientific advancement. Beyond her academic and research achievements, our distinguished speaker generously dedicates her time to support her community and ministry. As an elder of Mission View Adventist Church, or MVA, she continues to make a positive impact. We are privileged to have this distinguished speaker as part of our event. Her journey is a testament to dedication, discovery, and inspiration. Please join us in extending a warm welcome to Mom K. Piplesha Ramos, the wife of Pastor Ronald Hazel Ramos, our very own treasurer of Zamwanga Peninsula Mission. Good evening and happy Sabbath all our beautiful and handsome couples here in Zamboanga Peninsula Mission. Okay, lingia inyo hang asawa og bana. Unya kinahanglan diligid mo maulaw nga ihag ninyo siya, unya i-kiss ninyo. Happy Sabbath, Mommy. Happy Sabbath, Daddy. Agoy ka nang wala ni kiss anak. 10 years na siguro na nga wala nakakiss. Nga nung maulaw man mo nga married man ta it's instituted by God. Okay, ani mo karon para mahimong wholesome but it should be expression of your love. And I would like to thank especially Ma'am Sharon Dulang for inviting me here and also um, it is an uh, opportunity and a privilege for me to be here standing in front of you. And of course, ani ang atong um paabtikon nga grabe ka powerful speaker that only throughout Mindanao but all Philippines and even in the general conference Pastor Winda Serrano and Ma Thank you so much for coming. Gamay pa kaayo ko na nagtanaw na ko niya kay nagwali siya. So it's a very good influence. Actually mga kaigsuunan, swerte kaayo mo nga naa mo karon. Swerte kaayo ta nga ani ata karon. Tungod kay kini siya mga introduction lang ni karong gabi. Og ma grabe gud wisik-wisikan pa ta bubuan gyud ta og daghan kaayo mga panalangin para maligon ang atong pamilya. This is about the Family Ministries Leadership Certification and also which is centered on evangelism. So I cater this one as bringing the church home, rediscovering family as a catalyst for evangelism. Abi ninyo makaigsuunan, kining mga estudyante nga dili ga-follow of procedure or formula, pero gusto sila nga naay mahitabo. Nga kanang grabe gyud ang mahitabo bitaw nga kanang ang outcome ani ilang gi-expect. Grabing mix pero wala nag-follow og formula. Wala pud nga guidelines. So ga pamataka na lang dito wala may gyud gihapoy na hitabo. Ing ani mga kaigsuonan ang mahitabo nga ngano man sa atong kalibutan kay there is a growing sense that our world is hurtling toward the brink and no one can stop it. Bisan kinsa nga mga tao naghimo gyud og mga formula or anything ilang himuon para mahimong ligon ang pamilya para mahimo on sa man siya uh, matabang sa government or even in the community even the preachers politicians and educators nagbig sila og all those chemicals pero wala joy na hitabo so unsa man dai ni siya mga kaigsuonan this is about a catalyst what is a catalyst so dalon Kukamosa chemistry. 
nga subject. Kining catalyst makaisunon mo no siya ang mga substance nga mo alter siya sa reaction para mahimo ang particular chemical reaction. So kung ikaw na ihimuon nga particular ikaw nga catalyst, makahimo ka og isa ka reaction anang per certain situation kung ikaw na ka-influence. Another thing is if you are also chemically unchanged at the end of the reaction. Bisan unsa pay mahita bo sa kalibutan, naglunop, nagbagyo, earthquake, tanan, nasunog ang balay, dili yun ka matarog sa imong pagkaikaw. Mo na kinahanglan ka ayo na it's two classes of catalyst. Either it be a positive catalyst or a negative catalyst. Kining positive makahimo kag reaction that is very good that could increase the rate and also pwede pod negative that could what decrease the rate of that reaction. Abi ninyo unsa day ka importante ang catalyst. Kining catalyst kung mo react ka with that of the reactants, you can make a very powerful product that keeps on moving and that could influence the reaction of that particular product. So what is that all about? The world today needs a chemistry set, a catalyst that is the agent for change. Unsa may atong himuan karon sa kalibutan? We as Seventh-day Adventists, we are all here gathered together but we make sure that we will be a catalyst. What is that catalyst for? That is the family. Ang family mo isa ka catalyst yung makahimog influence into the reaction of the processes into the world. So kung ikaw isa ka catalyst, grabe ka ka-powerful. You're being single nga namili ka og usa ka future husband you need to pray for it di ba mamikay gi pray na majud nimo di ba sir of mer gi pray jud nimo no mo na i pray nimo nga naman kailangan ka na siya ma'am sandra i pray jud nimo kay kamo ang mahimo na bung catalyst for the generations to come and very important ang family because husbands and wives they should choose God above all. Sige, lingi adaw na inyong banag asawa. Giampuan ba na ninyo before ninyo na siya gisugot? Kinsa may nagampo be Lord, mauno ba gud ni siya? Sige, hands up da yun. Pastors, district pastors, brethren, elders, participants, giampo ninyo. Wait a minute. Ginoo, pwede kini lang siya. Pwede kini ng person one. Ayaw lang itong person two. Unsa nga kind of prayer. O sige, mga wives. Giampo ba ninyo kung kini na bagid siya? Okay. Kinsa man ang murag na swertihan lang nga nagka-partner mo pero wala yun na ninyo giampo. Hala, ubay-ubay yun. Pastor, sira na ubay-ubay yun din eh. Pero dili na po kaayotanan, Pastor. Pero kay naa naman karon himuan na siya, mahimo mong bantugan ng mga couples. Mahimo mong sa ligun. Nga naman, tungod kay God choose your partners for you. And the family is very important. That is why, unsa nga standard ang atong gamiton, ani nga catalyst mo? Ato bata sa pharmacy ni Ate Ella? Or sa drugstore, or asa ba tanga textbook? But we will look into God's word. That's the Bible. Of course, that's very important because the family played a crucial part in God's plan. When you read the story of redemption, it tells about the first family. Na mention ni siya no sa atong mga previous speakers about the origin. The first family in Genesis, as the creation, wow, God stepped back and said, wow, this is very good. She's beautiful. Wow. But an enemy lurked into the shadows. What did God do to protect this new world? He brought together a man and women and formed the first family. They were to feel the care for the earth, but more importantly, the one flesh union in marriage provided a witness to God's love and power in the face of the forces of evil. So, ang first family, gihimo gina siya sa ginoono. The first family, grabe suroy-suroy ni Adam. Og Eve, si Eve, si Adam natulog. Si Eve, naglaroy-laroy. 
Kinsa may mga asawa din yung sig, laroy, laroy. Okay lang tong sigig suroy-suroy from house to house kay Osaka Literature Evangelist. Diba, Pastor Sam? Okay, kayo na. Pero ka na nagsuroy-suroy lang, makimarites lang from house to the other. Huy, abibitaw ni Moni and so on and so forth. The first family grew careless as the men and women separated from each other. Dili maayo nga magka-separate yun mo with one another. Nga naman, with their union broken, Satan seized the opportunity and our world fell into darkness. So it is important that you spend time together. You need to commune with one another, and you need to have that very special moment at least in your lives per week, daily. Mas maayo mga kaigsuunan. During the time in Genesis, now there is another family, the family of Israel. After the confusion of the language at the Tower of Babel, the world once again stood at the brink with all the nations now scattered over the earth and God's children divided by language. How would the news of salvation reach the world? God needed a catalyst, an agent. From the largest cities in Mesopotamia, He called Abram to leave everything behind, a journey to a strange new land where He and His family would be God's chosen people. How could this man and his family be a blessing? Di nato mabalano until later on na himugid siyang blessing. With the faith of all humanity hanging in the balance, God hinged His plan on the faith of Abraham. And that is very crucial. Now, the family of Christian believers, it was when the time when Mary, because of the faithfulness of Abraham, the subsequent story of all the family of Israel led to the greatest moment in salvation history. In a little backwater town in Palestine, there was Mary, a young Jewish girl, miraculously conceived, and God became man. But who would tell the world? Kinsa mo story ya sa kalibutan? Kinsa mo spread the good news of salvation? Kinsa may mo inform sa ubang mga tao, sa mga silingan, sa community, sa kalibutan? Kinsa man mga kaigsunan? Once again, the faith of the world hung in the balance. And once again, God called upon a unique family. Jesus' words seem puzzling until we dig deeper in the New Testament understanding the story of this. And so, Jesus was born, and so he informed the disciples to preach. We now, as human, the final family. Sorry kay Ma'am Sharon. <laughs> ikaw ang gibutang ka, ikaw may nang-invite. <laughs> Og na po diri ang family sa ZPM. Okay, mga directors. So, ang family ka ng modern family, it's not only the family here in the picture, but your family, your family, my family, all of our families. We are the catalyst and we should be the agent. The broad sweep of salvation history through time, God's family is always getting larger and larger. It begins with the husband and the wife, born out of intimacy of the Godhead, it expands to a single family camp like nobles in a strange land. And scripture ends with an extended family that spans the globe and crosses all ethnic, political, and gender boundaries. Now God's family is about to expand once more. After a millennia of heartache and separation, God is about to Call his agent the catalyst. Now, these participants of this family ministry certification of Zamboanga Peninsula Mission, a round of applause our Heavenly Father. It is not by chance, but it is a destiny. So that when you will go home, you will be a catalyst of the good news of salvation. The family is the masterpiece of God's creation. We knew very well that marriage and parenthood reveal God's character. Importante yun ay kaayo ang atong pamilya o unsaon nato nga mahiusa. 
Kung na ay nag-away, i-mend over. Kung na ay nagka-broken marriage, kung mahimo, ibalik yun. Why? Because it is yun by God. It is instituted by God. God put children in families so they can experience His love and learn how to love others. Lisod po kaayo no sa family, nag-away tanan, nagkarambula tanan, ngano man. Maybe because the wife gusto og speak and span or ang husband ba, pero ang isa kay dili sumanglupad tanan, nakauban na ang mga sapatos, kalabasa, mga lamas, juice, nag-isa tanan sa lamesa. We need to have a very wholesome and an excellent home even though it's just as simple as we can contribute to our homes. So always remember that God put children in families so that they can experience His love and learn how to love others. The purpose of a family, of course, that is where it is the very first place that our children can find out about love, companionship, and forgiveness. Kung saan pagka-learn sa mga bata, kay kung nag-away ang mama o papa, kay vocal mang kaayo dito sa sala, nang lagpot naman ng mga kaldiro, mga kal- nag- nag- buak naman ang mga plato, kay nang lagpot naman. Kung sa pagtanong sa bata, kung sa may forgiveness, ani? O niya, why tingog-tingog? Para sa mong silingan dito sa ampayon nga, pero dili man sila Adventist. Murag 10 years na dito sila nga walay tingog-tingog. Kunya kay nakanbasan man sa akong papa, usa pa sila nagtingog. Mo ano kay ngano man tungod kay naay mga something mga nahitabo sa mga panimalay pero mangluod dayon. Unta ano nga kita a seven day Adventist, we must build this home, a little heaven here on earth that we have more love, kindness, patience, understanding, forgiveness and companionship. The biblical role of the family is that parents should teach their children about the gospel. Kini bitong mga gagmay pa ang mga bata no kay murag mga mama min hasul ka ayo magdala og bata sa simbahan nga man. Dito daw la nagwali ang papa anya ang mama dito gukod-gukod sa bata unya nag nangayabo na ang mga unsa na lang to mga milk na tanan unya pagkahuman behave ba behave kay maulaw ta nga wa na nga lupad na tanan unya nagtantrums na ang bata Mun ang uban dili nila dalon sa church. But no. Dal alang gid gihapon maong sa maning bata nga matulog ra man ni Denisa simbahan. Dal agi hapon bahalag matulog na siya at least ma iyahang ma recall or iyahang ma listen ang mga words bisag dili niya masabtan. Mao bitong importante kaayo nga naagi tay children's division para ang mga bata makalearn sila og unsa nga mga activities at at their particular age. The Lord warned if parents do not teach their children about faith, repentance, baptism, and the gift of the Holy Ghost, the sin will be upon the heads of the parents. Delikado ni mga kaigsunan. Again, we need to teach our children about faith, repentance, baptism, and the gift of the Holy Spirit because... It is very important not to sin to God. Our children are gifts from God. That's why we need to nurture them in physical, mental, social, and spiritual powers. The parents should also teach their children to pray and to obey the Lord's commandments. So now, for the family ministry, ang goal sa mga couple, it is the primary unit of the family. The family ministry seeks to deepen understanding of the relational dimension of being and making disciples to strengthen family members as disciple makers within the family. Now, kamo as husband and wives now, you should have very strong connection. Aside from your connection between spouses, you should have a very strong connection individually with God so that you can have a personal devotion with Him. Kay bisan ikaw ra isa, ani nga lugar, di yung ka makauna-una o pakpakasala. Why? Because you have a strong faith and strong devotion within you kay daily naghimu ka o kung saan, communication and communion with God. Even just 10 minutes in a day. 
mo na mag-wonder gid ka no nga, there are some who befall and that shortcomings, but we need to pray because Satan is like a roaring lion. Ma-entertain kayo sa inyong thoughts. Ano da yun? Pray da yun. Huwag niya pagkaman, Lord, tabangi ko. Di kay, Lord, thank you for this food. Listen po. To see families develop resilient, biblically rooted, divinely fueled faith, all age groups in the church must partner with parents to help them in the main spiritual influencers in the children's lives. Very important though, within the family to have that um, devotion and also evangelize your children and at the same time you will extend to others and in the church it's very important at different age that you need to have a parents or couple that will manage the spiritual aspect of this particular person. So kung si Yara da ay nag-isa, widow siya, or siya walay parents, or siya, siya lang ang nabaptize, grabe ang struggle niya kay wala yung influence nga iyang makuha from the family. Kay siya raman ang nabaptize. So maglisod siya, dagag discouragement sa food. Ngayon simba-simba man ka dito, nabisira ka dito, sabado ka ayo ron. Mag-open ta sa tong tindahan, nga man ka ato dito. So lisod ka ayo siya sa person nga siya lang ang Adventist. That's why it's a struggle. And our church need to have a couple nga muatiman ana nga per person at any age. It doesn't matter, but you need to fuel with faith at all age groups. And this partner with parents to help them with their spiritual influencers in the children's lives. Now, how will, will the family recover as an evangelistic catalyst? Okay, sometimes we fall short. Sometimes we, we, we gone out of, of ideas or anything, but we're focused lang of something uh, midweek, uh, vespers, Sabbath, and then done. And then sometimes, ang nabisi ka to lang mga literature evangelists or mga district pastors or mga directors, but the church, what the church is doing. Actually, there are, there are two here, but one is unlearning some evangelistic habits. Um, there's, this is just a suggestion, but it's not about you are going to cut this one. Because district pastors have their deepened work that, that needs to save souls for Christ. But we families as a group, as a team, we need to move from saving souls to saving families. What does it mean? You need to cater or friend a family what your family and another family. So it would be best kung dili siya Adventist. Much more kung Adventist siya nga imong i-manage. Nga naajud mo'y other families nga inyohang i-entertain uh, or inyohang siyang bisitaan. That is more saving families. Moving from saving souls to saving families. Aside from that, na ay mga significance ang relational ministry. What is a relational ministry? You are going to move on, diliingon nga ikata, but from program to process. What is program? More on program sa church, Sabbath school, divine AY. Done. Midweek, done. Vespers, done. Next Sabbath na po, Sabbath school, divine, AY, done. It shouldn't be like that, but it is the process. What is the process? Inyuhang o ato ang bisitaan ang atong target nga family that's a relational from our family to that family. We will visit from home to their homes. And then, kung birthday niya, si Rainy Dan, kantahan, ingana siya, so na siya process. Dili ingon nga ka ng Dito ragid siya nga sa program, kung wala na, wala na po. But you need to have that process ba nga, dili siya nga, at kinahanglan, mabotis mo na yun eh, kaya report yun. No, it's not. Because you cannot change that person automatically in just one second of a time. It needs to have a process. Kay para, kung sa man, lignong kaayo ang iyahang pagtuo nga na sabdan sa imuha. But nevertheless, ang makita niya sa imuha is your individuality as they will see Jesus in you. 
So from church-centered to home-centered ministry, you need to visit their homes. Kung naamoy sobrang nga mga kalabasa, mga sobrang nga mga eggplant, kamatis, or mga jackfruit, ihatag ninyo sa ilaha. O di ba mas perfect? O effort pag yun ninyo, kay daghan na kainyong mga plants, tagaipod sila og plants. And say, uh, welcome to the neighborhood, or uh, we're so happy nga, nahimo ka namong friend. O di ba So, na siya relational aspect. So, you need to visit their homes. And also, from prophecy to prophetic movement. What does it mean? Daghan kaayo karon or even Seventh-day Adventists nga nagbroken ang marriages. It is so sad to note, but kayo nagwalita, grabbing evangelism in all other aspects, but we neglect those nagbroken ang marriages. They should not be exempted. Ampuan, bisitahan, ug unsay matabang sa atong maarangan. It is very helpful in recovering that family through our being a catalyst. So from broadcast to narrowcast, it doesn't mean nga undango ng Hope Channel. Padayon ang Hope Channel. Dagdagan paghihapon nato ang support ang sponsorship. But we need as family ministries nga mga Uh, magtabang para sa buhat kita as husband and wives, as a family, with our children, with our grandparents, our brothers and sisters. We need to narrow cast this. What does it mean? You need to go to the person itself and tell all about the good news of salvation. It's not about, ah, dito lang ka sa FB, nag-ana, nag-historia, nag-vlog about something. But mura siya uh, vague siya kay you don't know. Okay sa ratong mo drop by sa anong sa imuhang page katur ang makakuha. But this time around is you need to go to their community or your surroundings so that you can narrow cast this information that you need to give. So important kayo no, kung i-partner siya with that of the publishing ministry and partner with the prayer warriors, partner with the women's ministry, partner with the Adams that they will go from house to house or that specific family. Bisan isa ka tuig, isa ka family lang gyud ang inyong i-focus. It would be a great joy already in heaven. Another thing is from talking heads to textured experiences. What does it mean? That when we talk of evangelism, practice, and so on and so forth, but our experiences are not aligned or attuned to that principle. It is very important nga ang atong self, ang atong family, ang atong relationship with the others must be catered and textured nga makita yun nila o sa genuine aspect of our lives. No, nga ka nang may develop ni mo yung pagka-giver. Hindi na kayo, naghatag niya, nagbagulbol ka, ihatag na ta na, hindi man na imuha. Gihatag mo na sa ginoo. I-give. You need to have that uh, principles that you need to give or giving because you are given. So whatever that is, either it be resources, talents, or anything, give it all to the Lord. Now from Proof text to living proof. What does it mean? Dili lang ka mag-text text sa pisabas. Oi ka nang be good always, be kind. God's love, God loves you. So do I. Dili nga na makaisunan. But you need to improve it to what? A living proof. You as a person. You as a husband. You as a wife. You as a couple. You as a family in that community. And then you can radiate to the community. Surrounding you, and that will radiate to all other aspects in the other places or the other barangays. And then from outside in to inside out. Now, if you have already the core of that family, because the husband is more adept to reading of the Word of God. Aside from that, there are so many books from the Ellen G. White that we need to read that could enhance our spiritualism. And also, the wife is doing that. And then the family in the worship, the children are reading Bibles, even for that 10 to 15 minutes in a day. 
that could be a great help. Kung strong na ang foundation within the family, you can radiate to other family. Kung sa ni mo pag-share, kung ikaw mismo, dili magay kagabasag Bible. Kung sa ni mo pag-share, kung ikaw mismo, magay kagalearn. Kung sa ni mo pag-spiritualize uh, pag self, when you are not sincerely giving all to the Lord, that is why you need to give everything and the Lord shall give you your best. So from a proposition to a person, dili lang about anything, akinisha about that, but specific person. That's why the family needs to cater another family. So it is very important that the family is this with a mission. Di na to kalimtano, dugay na magikayo. Kinsa man din sa inyo ang Adventist na 50 years or more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fifty. Okay. Twenty years to fifty years to forty-nine years. Adventist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, mga fifteen. Kinsa sa inyo di ten to nineteen. Adventist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. One year pa to nine years nga Adventist. Ooh. So, lailahi day siya experiences, no? So, by that, dili na siya gadipindi og unsa ka kadugay na a seven-day Adventist. But it is about how personally you communicate with God, how personally you applied everything, all the principles that you've learned. Grabe na ginahimo sa ato ang um, mga ministers, no? Since pag yun, sa una pa kaayo, gabalik-balik na ni siya. Unsa may nahitabo kay nga naman, na po'y bago nga generation ni Tubo. Munang continua siya, more siya, a process, gini siya, nga cycling that you need to do this and we need to rekindle it. You need to evangelize this and you need to do things uprightly at that particular time. So families with a mission, eh, do not forget that the Gospel Commission, it is about sharing our faith in our message, in our mission. It must be identified that we are the followers of Jesus Christ. And also, we need to evangelize within the family members and also others surrounding us. So let simple tips lang yun sa mga, mga couples or families. So kung naamoy mga talents, inyo siya i-apply. Kung tag-isa ra ka note sa piano, i-piano lang. Okay ra kayo na siya. Ayaw ka insecure nga. Lagi liman kung maayong piano para kay... Mam Cecil, ingat trend mga gubat niya. Trend 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 trend. Ano na jig kaayo ba? No, it matters with unsa imong mag-give kay Jesus. So, let families or couples present special music or personal testimonies. So, that is sharing. Everyone can share and everyone can share music. No kay na atay mga church hymnals. Give Bible studies and family living to candidates or to friends or sa inyong target nga family and distribute handouts o important din no, ang literatures and to evangelistic congregations and also visitation for families as a whole visiting individuals within the family. So, very important siya nga uh, himuon nato. Because God wanted this sinful world to understand who Jesus is. God did not send the doctrine, but He sent a Savior. If absolute truth is a person, then responding to truth is all about what we do with a person. So we share Jesus Christ with them. Jesus said in John 17, 3, Now this is eternal life that they may know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. And in Matthew 28, 7, it says, Christian families today join a long line of runners proclaiming He is risen as He is dead. Our district pastors, our church members, our elders, our officers, and everyone is preaching the gospel, talking about the good news of salvation, and make sure that not only in the lips that we will do it, but we will also do it in our personal lives, genuinely, intricately inside of our hearts. So, very important, no? Mga couples, ato yung tagaag importansya ang family o atong mga children. Sa dili ko masayop, murag second siya nga budget. Katong na heard na ko nila, Pastor Mami, no? Nga nag-discuss about the budget for the division nga gihatag is ang sa mga children ang second highest. And very important kung maghimo taog ka ng evangelism. So, whatever ways we can, 
And we should include our children. But mag-pray na siya din ha, mag-read sa Bible, basta mo participate, good siya. And then, it's very important to help them with the faith because that will also encourage them. And at the same time, you need to pray for your children, especially katong nag-teenager na para makakita po sila Christian partner. And it's very important for our spouses with our children that we will have a time to reconnect, time to heal the wounds, time to be open up, time to discuss things, and time of communication para wala nagigitaguan nga mga pagbati nga na de kay kalagot for the past 15 years na. Dili siya maayo. In our marriages for husband and wives, you should be open in your communication in all things that we do para kumpante tanan with that appeal na po sa prayers and faith. So, when your family is already strong in the Lord, because husband is a prayerful person, a genuine wife would also help in the ministry. Muna kung na-encourage yun, gina-inspire sa itong mga MSA, that women, kinidi ang mga asawa sa pastor, dili lang mag-relax-relax. Why? Because we have heavier tasks to do. Kita ang in-charge nga ang atong mga bana maluwas. Kadakong disgrasya kung ang atong bana di maluwas, kita dapat naghimog effort, prayers, faith, support, and so on para maluwas ang atong husbands. And husbands are doing a very heavy task. Our elders, our district pastors, our ministers working for the Lord obligating everything, mga problema sa brethren, sa church, sa community, and so on and so forth. Daghag mga yung tabang, daghan kayo silang problema, especially no, din sa atong, uh, sa atong mission nga need nga makater tanan. But it is very wholesome and, and God is good that God provided everything nga gitabang niyo with the leadership, no? Nga maabtiko na to si Pastor Sombilon. That supporting all the departments, supporting all the programs of all the departments. Uh, si Pastor Pud uh, Mandalupa and also Pastor Ronald. That is why very important ang atong family nga atong ishare because we cannot share what we don't have. You need to be equipped holistically, spiritually, socially, mentally, and morally as well so that you can share that one energy to other people surrounding you. How are you going to reach? That is through sharing your faith and then giving everything for them. Another thing is social influence. It would be best na ang atong mga posting of the FBs and so on, more siya nga maka-inspire sa uban. Kita po nga nagtanaw, ayaw lang po mo kasuya. Ala, tanawa siya o na, siya ibago nga kuan, kimpit, nice ka ayaw, naidak sa ibabaw. Ako po, palit po ko ana. O diba? O siya, kay silingan, nakapalit o TV, magpalit po. Dili siya about, ing ana, makaigson, social influence that when you post, that could inspire. Gabi yung struggles, no? Pero nahimo, gya po niya. Ma-inspire ka. Think of the positive things na imong para ma-influence ang other people. And then, pwede ka mag- post sa mga verses or kung itag ni mo, dili ka mga binuang-binuang. But more of spirituality. More of makita ni mo ba nga, there is God and there is God who loves the people even though they are unlovable. But still, God reached out to them to care for them and love them. So in our families, it's very important for a Christian home to be the center of this contagious friendliness and open doors to all human need. Nga usahay no bisan wala na kay ikahatag ipasulod gyapon paka naghihapon bahalag unsa na kalabasa na lang rabin lutuan gyapon kalabasa ayaw ka ulaw mo ug siya pinaka best ni imong mahatag. Okay ra na butangan na dinay mag itlog pites na as long it's heartily given. Dili kay na dili na ko pasudlon oi ihipos tanan mo ang anon maulaw ta nga dili man ni chicken atong sudan dili man beef. Oy, pero mas nutritious ang mga fruits and vegetables. So, muna siya mga kaigsuunan. And hospitality evangelism. That we need to cater also others, no? Nga pwede sila sa atong panimalay that they can also see Jesus in us. So, ma-appeal sila worship o ma-influence po sila ang nag-visit. 
The power of the home to evangelize is the Christian home by far most powerful evangelizing agency in the world. Its evangelism, however, is not aggressive. It's persuasive. It proclaims its message not by words but by deeds. It does not tell others what they should be. It shows them what they could be. Mo'y na ma-remember na ako, no, katong last na nga akong co-teacher nga grabe ginyang hilak kay wala na approve yang extension sa iyang PhD pero makaigsoon i felt the need to pray and lay over to her immediately in kumam jen ampo antika ako gi siyang giampo andiretso unya kay one hour naman lang kay ngano man mahum mahuman na manglakaw na ang board kay magmeeting sa Manila and it's already 4 o'clock so ni ko trust in God so akong gi pray Lord Sa ako na una ayaw jud ko pa ako kaulawi Lord. Kinahanglan makahatag jud kasi mo miracle. I believe in you ni Mom Jen. Trust in God, believe nga ma-approve gyud imong extension. Kay kaduha na siya sa board nga wala gyud siya na-approve. So nagulat siya since last year ka mag-lisod siya sa iyang sampling. To make the long story short, abi ninyo makaigsuonan na-approve gyud ang iyahang extension. Balik siya sa wag rabi ning hilak. Ma'am Kay, gidawat akong letter na butang siya sa agenda. Ingko, ayaw kong pante, tawagi si Dr. Wee, ang director sa DOST. Kay member siya sa board. Siya, dili, mi friend, it doesn't matter. Para masabda niya ay muhang problema. So, pagtawag niya, nakasupport dito sa board. So, God will really do miracles. Grabe niyang hilak. Ma'am Kay, your God is a, a God that is alive. A God that is very faithful to you. Grabe niyang hilag ko. Mag-pray ta, Ma'am Jen, because God is good all the time. And so by that, when God will walk with you, you need to exercise that faith within you so you can influence with others. The Christian home, very important. As I can remember my father, sige gina siya og pray sila mama, grabe sila mo pray. Kadlawon, middle of the night, before ma sleep. Nya yeah, very early mag-worship, wala na ko nakapi 4 a.m. mag-worship dili matabang mga kaigsoonan. Grabe kayo. So mo tuloy ko in all things na learn ako well, you need to pray because there is power in prayer. So mo na siya that when the world's life rises to the higher levels only as it homes do so. And very important no, the tools of family evangelism know your calling. But we as Seventh-day Adventists, we must be called because God is calling us to be a catalyst, to be an agent for His service. And then you need to have the specific um, calendar if you are very meticulous of all the programs that you have. Set up your boundaries, leave a room for flexibility, and also combine that time if you have. So, mo nang sa ministry, no, I worked in Wemso doing all the research, doing molecular laboratory. Pag Friday hapon, sirit na sa ipil and do the ministry. And then pag Sunday na or early kadlong Monday, sirit na po dito, balik na po. May kulag, grabe, may life mo. Busy kayo sa nga tanan. But you are happy. If God will end your life today, so be it. You'll be glad because you're serving the Lord and you are giving all to Him. So that is why it's very important to balance our work, our family in the ministry, but we need to be involved in the ministry of God. And remember that everyone is working and God is giving you the charge to work for Him as a husband, as a wife, as a couple, as a family, and to your children so that you can also influence that with the others. And so this one are the ideas for family evangelism. I hope that Wam Sharm is giving you this handouts with you to reach up very important ang personal relationship because you cannot radiate if you cannot you do not have that. And also your Bible study and you can reflect God's love. Usay refine man ato atong mga kinaiya no kay usay sobra ra kaayo, usay kulang ra siya. Dapat siya i-refine so mas maayo nang mabadlungan ta. Okay ra gid kay mabadlungan para mabalance sa panato oy dili dai ni siya maayo. Reach up to God, reach in 
through your relatives, church members, use your spiritual gifts, your family missionary project, your stewardship, your evangelism, and everything. And then reach out to the world. Take special interest of the 13th Sabbath offering and give all to the Lord. We're like, 10% or more COP for Christ. Ayaw ninyo na kalimti mga kaigsunan. Kaya nga naman, God will multiply all your needs. I tell you, it's a very personal experience and it's a miracle that God changed the rank of mine from the national and I was given the highest position of the professorial. And I just prayed to that. Pero akong gisayinan, dili siya ang highest. So niin ko, Lord, Pwede na kay miracle himoon. Kung kini siya ang akong rank, ang highest na to sa professorial, kini siya, Lord, ako ni ihatag sa si ministry. Lo and behold, gihatag yun si Ginoo. And I'm very happy it's not for me, but it is for the Lord's work. And so mga kaigsuunan, very importantly, when we share the good news of salvation, when we have that faith within us, and we will, when we evangelize to others, because our family is so strong enough, we have the families to share. It is very important na ang atong ishare good news of salvation. Dili pwede ang atong ishare nga mga marites lang unsa nahita mo sa neighbor na unsa nani na unsa diha. It should be more of God's word, more of the biblical principles and also by your works and by your actions they can see Jesus in you. Money siya ang family very important as a catalyst as the agent for giving services and influence to the people. The father, the mother, the children, the siblings, the grandparents, the brothers and sisters, this one core family could catalyze others with that family and they could radiate to everyone. And then these participants here, this family representing here for Zamboanga Peninsula Mission will move forward in the work and then God will soon to come. Throughout the salvation history, God has turned the family to be an agent of change. You are chosen by God to be here, not by accident, but you are purposely, what, invited to be here. And you urgently came here because you are an agent for change. Make sure in yourself that you will become a catalyst. And have all those spiritual lives, social, mental, and spiritual, all those teachings will be aligned, attuned to your personality. And always remember that because we are in a dying world, when we as a catalyst, as an agent will make a change, then we will not forget now is a time that the family is very powerful. The God be glorified as we obey His commandments out of a heart of love. When we share the good news of salvation, when we are adept to our individuality as a husband, as a wife, as children, as spouses, as a family, that we are already equipped with the Word of God and we practice it daily in our lives that we can share to others so that the other people will know about Jesus. And then they will also learn from us that God is love and there is a good news of salvation and that there is a heavenly home that God has prepared for us. So all of us, be that change, be that catalyst, be an agent, because there is power in you. Good evening and happy Sabbath. God be praised. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. K. Coming here, mga kaigsoonan, did not just empower us, no, as Christians, as Seventh-day Adventists, but equip and prepare our family at ang mga pulianan to be God's collaborators. So in the same citation, let me read this uh, plaque of, I mean, a plaque of appreciation para sa dili pa kung ang yun, balik, no, ang atong mga opisyales sa um, Family Life Ministries Federation sa pagsaka din hi. Ang yun, ako balik ang atong mga opisyales, kauban ni Ma'am Sharon. 
I think nasa kilid si Ma'am Sharon, no? And ito ang yun, si Dr. K dito sa, sa ato ang center. Plaque of Appreciation presents this to K.P. Ramos, Ph.D. Salamat kay Ma'am K sa imuhang pag-share um, no, sa maonga insights. Because again, ako nga yun, paspasan na ito gamay, no? Kay right after sa um, closing prayer, mupabilin mo lingkod sa ta kay na ay instruction and announcement si um, Ma'am Sharon Dulang. Ready na na for MVC, Mom K. Once again, dagang salamat, Ma'am K. Ramos. Power guide kayo itong mga speakers. At ang palakpakan, mga kaisunan, ang atong tulong ka mga magsusulti ni Ini nga kagabi yun. Ugma, atangan na ito, no? Kaysa ato ang um, morning worship, ang ato ang ministerial secretary, Pastor Elmer Dulang, ang ato ang mohatag sa atong mensahe. And then sa atong Sabbath school and divine worship, ang atong kinaham ng bisita. No, dinapit Pastor Wendell Silano siya ang maghatag sa um, minsay ugma sa Sabbath School and Divine Worship. Atong ihatag ang panahon sa
Pabilintas Patindo, ang pag-ampo. O Diyos, nga labing gamuhanan, huwag silimbaho na mo, nga tagiay ka, o sa tagiyas among kinabuhi. Amahan, aniya kami di ang animo. Nagapangayo kami, o kapasailuhan sa mong kalapasan, sa buhat, sa pulong, sa una-una. Amahan, nga dalang lang panan, kami sa kanunay magadaig o magapasalamat kanim. Ginoo, hinaot kining pamilya nga among girepresentahan, mahimo kaming agent nga makabalo sila nga ikaw gayod ang Diyos nga angay namong alagaron. Paliho ginoo ang matag ka namo, aduna may mga pamilya nga anaa sa kahasol sa ilang huna-huna o kasing-kasing. Hinaot, Lord, nga kami makabisita kanila ug mahimo kaming channel nga diin sila usab makatultol na nang langit nga gitagana mo alang sa mga matarong Ginoo palihog ang matag usa ka namo samtang kami nagapaminaw hinaot mahimo kaming maempowered nga amo usab nga mas spread out sa matag pamilya o komunidad kun asa man namo girepresentahan palihog Lord ang matag usa ka namo ang uban magapabilin diri alang sa pagkatulog ug ang uban magabyahi para usab pagbalik ugma amo kang hangyuon gino nga palihog pangunahi ang among mga plano sa kinabuhi mahimo lamang kining posible ang tanan kun ikaw makigkauban kanamo salamat lord sa desisyon nga among gipili nga diin among gipili nga muanhi kami alang sa pagpaminaw sa mga lektura O Lord, daghan pang mga pulong, wala nalitok sa among madila. Apan ikaw na sayo dinintanan, ni Jesus among manuluwas. Amen.